So more often these days, we're starting to see uh, road alignments being issued as part of a CAD file. Um, and rather than key in the horizontal element anyway, often the vertical element you're going to have to key in. But for the horizontal element, if it is formed with two arcs and straights, um, rather than sort of thrupney bit alignment, then what you can do is basically just select the individual components and add them to a road file. Um, when we're selecting the individual components, we have to be careful. So if I select here the direction, it's that direction. If I select the other end of the line, so if I select the upper part of the line, so just clear the selection here, and then we see the direction's actually going the wrong way because we can see this is zero chainage here. So we need to be careful in which side of the line we're actually selecting. Um, we can actually see there is a poly line that goes all the way through this job. Um, but it's actually going through the intersection lines, uh, intersection points, which is not what we're we're after here. So what we're going to do is select the individual lines. So all we need to do is select the first part of the road, and then move along, and select the next part of the road again. Just making sure that we're selecting the side of the line towards lower chainage, and then the next part. And we can just progress all the way through the road, selecting them in turn. And obviously we're assuming that they've been drawn correctly, but this is the only information that we've got in this particular road. It's that one there. And then we finish on that one there. So all the arrows are going in the correct direction. So what we can do now is just long press the screen, store road. And I'm going to call it road one. And station interval is not too important. It does start change zero. I'm going to just choose enter and accept. And if I actually now go back to my road program and go to define our Excel road, we'll see road one here. And when I choose edit and look at the horizontal alignment, then it's all there. And the only thing we now need to do is go back and add the vertical alignment in the templates. So that's how to take a CAD file that's been drawn up with the proper arcs and straights and um, convert it into a road file.